Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1073 for Wednesday, April 21st, 2010. Shapeways 3D Printer. And now, get ready for Dick. It's the middle of the week. Time to play the... Oh, we don't have a theme for There's Wednesday. There's no theme. There's just theme free. It's Wednesday. No theme. I don't have a Wednesday song, really. Theme day. I could sing the Monday song over again. No! It's Wednesday. Theme free Wednesday, the show you cannot hum. There's no way. The day when there's no theme. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, theme free Dicky, Dick D. Bartolo. Well, well, how you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Good. You know what? I was looking at my calendar. Is Saturday the big parade? It is. Or my <laughs> Dick. The Dick. Liver and Onion the Parade. The Liver and Onion Parade. We love that show. Wow. And now this year, are you going to be in it with your Ford Mustang? Oh, I should, shouldn't I? Well, you know, I do the radio show, unfortunately. Um, I would say it's fortunate that you do the radio show. <laughs> gets we me out of having it. this kind of nonsense, right? Yeah, right, the whole time. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. I guess, I don't know. I'd love to, but I guess I'm going to miss it uh, this year. Is what it like say? hours long? I mean, can't you see part of it? Um, no, we'll hear it as, yeah, it's not, no, it's not that long. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> sick. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's everybody in the town is in it, but it's not really. Oh, so it's very short. It's pretty short. It's, yeah. It doesn't take a very long time for it to go by. <laughs> well, okay. Just want you to know it was on my calendar. When year I'll get out there. Ah, well, I, yeah, you know, you've never seen it. You never came out for that. I never came out oh, to we really, the... We would love to have you uh, come out for the... Maybe maybe, next maybe next year, I yeah, will. Maybe maybe next year. Uh, it's fun. You know, what we hope for is we hope for good weather. Uh, we hope that uh, we don't have that horrible chicken accident that we had uh, a couple of years ago. Oh, that was terrible, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a day of uh, festivities and, uh, and terror, to be honest. When you have that many chickens running around town, anything can happen. Yeah. And well, you can't does. expect them to march in formation for I all did. those blocks. It told you that. I, <laughs> I, I know. Said, Listen, I know. You but... can't get a thousand chickens to do formations and spell twit. I don't care what Dane says. But <sighs> I know. We try. And someday we well, will yeah. succeed and we will go down in history as the men who taught chickens to march in formation. And that'll be enough for me. That's a small accomplishment, but enough for me. Okay, well, that's a little bit, and you're happy with it. That's what I like about you. You're happy with just staying in your little place, not expanding out, not trying to take <laughs> oh, over geez, anything. If only that were true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, believe it or not. Yeah, I, 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 I can tell you now I don't believe it, but go ahead. <laughs> Try me. So we started, as you know, in a little room upstairs in a little garret attic room, small room, tiny yeah. room, eight by yeah. eight. I mean, really small. That was just me. And then Dane came along and our family grew. And, uh, and pretty soon there was mother and father, the dog, Aunt June and Uncle Beaver. And pretty soon we filled up the place with people and, and joyous laughter was heard. And poor old Leo had nowhere to sit anymore. So I'm going to take my ball and I'm moving next door. Oh, that's good. There's well, you know, this is a two. You don't have a private place, do you? I yourself? don't have an office. I don't have an office at home. I don't have an office here. And and with all of these people, I just don't have any privacy anymore. So I need somewhere that I can ever pass dawn out. on you that if you had an office, you have no time to go into an office. <laughs> that the dad ever doing it? This you? started as my office. The room I'm yeah, in now it. was I my office, it. but it's not. It hasn't I been know. my office. Now people, you know, I I get up and somebody else sits on the ball. Wow. Yeah. Keep it warm. Yes, it's hot ball. But it actually they call it for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. 
That's an old, no, I tell an you, old my, Navy term. One of my favorite memories was the day on Skype when I tuned in and you said, Dick, look at this desk. And there was nothing on it. Was, the room was empty. It was just this mammoth desk. And you were saying, I think I'll put a microphone here yeah, yeah. and maybe a laptop there. Now look what happened. And, oh, I know. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, we're going to look. There's actually apparently an office next door available. So I'm gonna. Oh, you mean in, in another building? Yeah, this is a this is a the Twit Cottage is part of a two building complex. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. So it spreads. We're gonna. See, it'll be it's just a matter of time before we're into the whole. You know, take over the whole yeah. thing. It's and the other building is connected in a way. No, it's just it's, well, oh. it's right there though. I mean, you see oh, it. Okay. It's the original. So this is the Kavanaugh Cottage. That's right. Kavanaugh House. That's the original oh. house that the Kavanaugh family built. He was a lumber baron in the turn of the century, about nine years ago. And he built this house. A beautiful paneling. That's where all this wood maybe, comes from. Maybe that's the one I can have my name on the door and my photo. Sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. good we'll good. name it the, the Dick DiBartolo Annex. Giz Wiz Annex. Giz Wiz Annex. Actually, that's not a bad name. Yeah. Is with garage for your car. I don't care. I just want to be in there something. <laughs> the Giz was gazebo, actually, right out back. I like it. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I think that's a, that's, that's what we'll call it. The Giz was, Oh, they Giz took it down. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dick, what is your what what is your okay. uh, gadget of the day today? Our gadget is is not actually a. I'm going to show you something I made using this company. The company is called Shapeways. And you and I have been talking many times about 3D printing. Oh, yeah. And we're, talk we're talking about it that uh, up at Wild Planet, they have a 3D printer, and it was kind of amazing. It's for prototyping, um, yeah. Yeah, yes, exactly, to, to build prototypes. But even though it was amazing for them, I still think it was like $60,000. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Because, you know, you make a 3D design, and this machine 3D prints it into... Uh, a 3D object. Well, this company called Shapeways, the PR people heard me talking about that, and they said, well, you know what? We can help in a way. So what Shapeways is, at shapeways.com, is you can go in and design your own 3D project. You can use uh, a lot of the 3D programs that their computers will recognize. And then after you design it, they will print it in 3D. And when I say print it in 3D, this is what uh, I made. Um, and I used one of their templates, so it was not like I needed a lot of things. But it's kind of hard to see. It says, The Giz Wiz Dick D. Bartolo. Wow. And, you know, it, it's uh, put a vase in there. I put paper behind it because the vase will so that you can see the lettering more carefully. Uh, it's not inexpensive. This To have this done costs uh, $62. But you can, if you wanted to buy a machine to do this on your own, it would cost you $60,000. So are, are take, they made out of take, plastic? Take, what are they made out of? Yes, yes it's, it's made out of plastic, but the website, they are constantly adding new materials that they can work in. They can do it in a stone finish. It's really kind of neat. Look at this keychain. This is cool. And this is only $17. That, that, yeah, th this, this is... And how much is the keychain? $17. 17 bucks. It, it, See, because beautiful. there, you're using things that they already designed. Right. Whereas if you design your own... But you can upload your own designs. And what's neat about the website is you can upload your design and then the computer in a, in a few seconds will tell you if that's a design that actually can be printed out in 3D wow. or if you have to go and redesign it. So it's really a fun way, A, to see if you want to do something in 3D, B, if you already know how to do stuff in 3D and want what would be a relatively inexpensive way to, to have something made as opposed to buying your own, uh, your own 3D printer, which is, you know, in the tens of thousands of dollars. This is an interesting thing. And I think the company is a Dutch company. Oh. And I remember saying that it will take 10 days before your physical object arrives. And it, it came in about four days. And it's pretty nifty. Um, so they, they so actually I, print this thing. 
Yeah, they do. And I have mine. It's now permanently part of my microphone because I... Are you just it hooked it onto the microphone mic. and you can't get it off? <laughs> Wait. I, it's nice stuck on the mic. There, I that's get, good. How much did that cost? <laughs> this was sixty-two dollars, okay. and I ruined a hundred dollars. Yeah, uh, well, that's kind of fun. It's shapeways. dot com, and as I said, you can you can buy stuff inexpensively if you want to use their designs and stuff that they uh, stock, or you can design your own using their computer, or you can upload your own design if you have a three D computer, uh, a three D program that you work in. That's really that's so, quite neat. Oh, quite fun. Shapeways. dot Shapeways. dot com. You know what? I have to ask you because I have a note here. Yes. What were you talking to Amber about comparing listeners? Oh, you haven't seen that? The who's dumber? Who has the dumber <laughs> followers? No. Oh, yeah. TomScott.com. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's where you go? TomScott.com? TomScott.com. And then he has like the, the stupid battle, stupid fight, he calls it. Actually, it's TomScott.com slash stupid fight if you want to go directly there. And okay. we can see who has, who's got the dumbest fans. So here, should oh, we do okay. you and me? So you're yeah. the Giz yeah. Wiz versus Leo Laporte. Of course, you're going to have the dumber fans. Everybody knows that. Let's yeah. just see. It's, in my, it's actually in my contract. According to science, Leo Laporte's fans are more stupid. Are more stupid? Oh, a lot more stupid. Like, your fans are actually smart as a whip. Mine are thick as two wooden planks. Okay. It could be worse. They right, could so be. Do the Gizwiz against uh, Matt, uh, Dane. Alf Alfred Dane Golden. Oh, Alfred E. Newman. Perfectly. Right. I'll do Alfred E. Newman. Alfred E. N E U M A N. A N. M A. Yep. Okay. Alfred E. Newman. Oh, is it A L F R E D? A L. Uh, yeah, regular Alfred E. Newman. E N E U M A N. M A U. Huh. Maybe we broke it. Let's try it versus oh. Dane Golden. Okay. I got to warn you, Dane's really got some good followers. Oh, my God. He beat the pants off of you. Wow. Wow. How did he get those? It's only his mother and father, I think. He only has two followers. <laughs> they're, they're smart, though. <laughs> they're, small, they're college grads. That's great. Uh, well, that's fun. I yeah. mean, uh, so that's what we were uh, doing. Who, who made up this grid, though? I mean, do we know who? Well, yes, it explains here if you scroll I think down. Dane Golden. Yes. Stupid fight can't go out and administer an intelligence test to each person that's sending message to a celebrity. Oh, so well, then what good is that? Yeah, what good is that? So instead, it, it estimates based on several stupid indicators. For instance, <laughs> are they using 20 exclamation marks in a row? Stupid. Do they endlessly abbreviate? OMG, stupid. Do they seem incapable of working out where their shift key is? Dumb. These indicators have a strong correlation with the message and its sender being stupid. They say, like okay. the body mass index, it's an excellent indicator but may not work for certain people. It so is, it quickly looks over all the twits that each of us have and determines it from that? Is that what it does? Yeah. It well, no, it does the last 100 people to send an at reply to you. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Okay. And, uh, and by the way, it oh, says... Then, it, then it's very scientific. He's a linguist. So who else should we do? Uh, 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 the Gizwiz, the Gizwiz versus Albert Einstein. <laughs> no, Kevin Rose. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure. According to science, Albert Einstein is smart as a whip. All right. Well, that's it. Now this gives this some validity. Yeah. See, that's now good. Let's, let's see how you do against Kevin Rose. Kevin Rose had oh, way dumber. In fact, I might even be able to beat Kevin Rose. Let's just see. It's let's because my I have I don't know why. Yeah, I barely beat him, but I beat him. You beat him. There I you go. Him. There you go. So this thing is very accurate. Let's see, John C. Dvorak. Oh, oh, oh. Versus me. Oh my God! Look how smart his fans are. He's got like he's almost as smart as Dane Golden. Oh, put the put them against each other. Oh, that's going to be a tough battle. Yeah, no, I mean really, put them get a ring. Oh and yeah, bring them on. Oh, cage camera. match. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this actually, be Dane has smarter fans than John. Wow! But they're both very smart. Very smart. Yep. Woo. Yep. 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 
All right. Well, my friend, Mr. Dick D. Harmora, that, <laughs> that is a wonderful gadget. A little pricey for me, but at least you don't have to own one to make it work. I think that's very that's cool. That's correct. That's correct. Very cool. Do we do a letter? We did not do a letter, so that would be next, wouldn't it? You I are, think it would you be a are, good idea. You are smart as a whip. You are very oh, clever. It's my, it's my fan that make <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, a Gizwiz letter. A Gizwiz letter, Dick. I started listening to the Daily Gizwiz show, <clears throat> 970. I loved it so much, I downloaded all of the previous episodes. Wow. And I've been listening to them wherever possible. I'm losing sleep trying to catch up. You guys are like a good book I cannot put down. Oh. On top of getting less sleep. I have narcolepsy, oh, so maybe you can imagine what it's like for me at work yeah. when I alternate between dozing off and listening to the Daily Gizwiz. So thanks a lot. My boss walks by and either sees me clutching my gut laughing or dozing off in my chair. <laughs> my, if I lose my job, do you guys need a lackey? I need a lackey. You have enough lackeys. We don't need there, more. We don't need no stinking lackeys. Especially when it sleeps the... a lot. <laughs> I got that already. It says, it says I'm signing it R H just in, on the vague chance the you read this on one of your yeah, netcasts. Same. Yeah, and we won't. We'll never tell that that guy sleeping down the hall. R H is that a synonym? That's a pseudonym for Dane Golden, I think. I uh, yeah, or maybe it's someone from Macy's, aren't they? R isn't it R H Macy? <laughs> Well, Dick, I think the time has come for us to say, let's just chuck it all and do this over again tomorrow. I'll be here. D-A-I-L-Y. It's the day.